welcome to the first All Hallows Create Lab at Home tutorial. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss Kears and I'm going to be taking you through step by step how to create this little makeup caddy using most of the things that you will already have at home. Some of the tutorial I filmed in 360 format so you'll be able to have a look around our Create Lab space at school and see how empty it is without you girls there. And it's a bit lonely, I must say. But most of it is filmed here in my own space at home. So, without any ado, let's get creating, girl. First of all, here is all the supplies that you may need. So decorative paper, a lid from a shoe box, toilet rolls, uh, a glue gun and glue sticks, a good pair of scissors, some rope, or some macrame rope, whatever you have. On the bottom I put a little bit of felt. We need lots of craft glue, a water spray, and then whatever you want to decorate the things with, any thread or um, decorative items. I use shells in mine, but you can use whatever you want just to make it pretty. So the first thing you need to do is actually spray down all your paper and scrunch it up just so that you can break all the fibers so it's ready to wrap. So now you have to get prepared, cut your toilet rolls into different lengths, get a piece of A4 cardboard and cut it to the specific size and then get your paper ready, cut them so that you have a little bit on top so that you can fold it over. Now I'm doing my job super, super fast at the moment, just with craft glue, cover all the pieces that you have, your toilet rolls and your flat piece of paper. It doesn't matter if your decorative paper is still wet, in fact it's probably easier to work with when it's wet. And when you've done all that, just pop it aside and I'll get back to you with the next step. When you're rolling your toilet rolls, you'll need to cut a few uh, sections around the top so that it's going to be easier to roll that top edge over and make it look neat. Now after you've done all that, it's time to wrap the rope around your toilet rolls. You can see here that I'm only using two bits of glue on either end. Makes it a bit easier, not so much glue. Now we're looking at the little Create Lab without you guys in it. So lonely. Now with this one, I've actually chosen to use two different colored ropes. So I've used the darker color on the bottom and now I'm going to put the lighter color on top, just a strip. Now, after you've finished putting all your rope on all your items, you need to actually cover every little bit with just the glue. So this makes it waterproof, gives it a nice shine and makes it last a little bit longer. I have also put a little bit on the inside on the top. But once you've done, let them sit overnight to make sure they're dry. Now that you've got all your pieces together, we're going to attach them in a semicircle with hot glue. You can see there that I've created a little bit of a semicircle. The next step now is to actually attach your piece of cardboard. Before you do that, you actually want to make it round, so just bend it in a little bit of an arc. Hold them together until the glue sets. And now we're going to use our shoebox lid trace around your creation and actually do another tracing a little bit about a centimetre bigger than what you want it. Cut it out of your cardboard and then because this cardboard wasn't really strong I decided to do another layer of it. So I just traced it again and then stuck them together with hot glue. And now I am tracing around the shape a little bit bigger than what it actually is so that we can wrap around the edges of the base. Now glue the base down and then you want to cut sections all the way around the shape before you actually glue it onto the back. Now I'm gluing it onto the back so to make sure that I put enough glue on the paper as well as the base. Now we need to trace and cut out the felt. 
so that that sticks on the back and it has a nice soft feel on the bench. Now we're going to attach the top to the bottom with hot glue. So carefully go around the edges and then you'll have to center your top section to the bottom section and there'll be a little lip underneath. Now we're going to put our rope on the, on the bottom edge and I have put four rows of rope along my design. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. However, I thought it looked good. Next, I finished off the top edge with some uh, rope as well. And then I went on to decorate with some braid and also some shells and some sequins. Before I put the shells on, uh, we need to actually seal the whole thing with some more craft glue. So inside and out, if you want to paint this, it makes it waterproof and easy to clean. I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial. I'd really like to see any photos that you have so I can put it up on Instagram or on our blog. And um, look forward to the next tutorial with you guys. See ya!